So they added the Jack Requiem conversion kit for the Cast Off 545 and Cast Off 762, which turns the weapon into the AK-12. No matter how you build this thing, no matter what one you're using, the 762 or the 545, this thing has zero recoil, like whatsoever. Believe me, I've tried to give it recoil. You can't do it. I'm convinced it, just it's not a thing. What you can do is limit shake on it. It does have some shake and you can increase the damage range to make this thing much more viable. Sometimes I struggle here, I'm gonna be honest with the fact that it has no recoil. Sometimes I pull down on the stick and I end up shooting at their freaking ankles. That's my only complaint about the thing. There's nothing else to really go complain about. So the Jack Requiem kit here. It's gonna give you vertical recoil control. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's gonna sacrifice the fire rate and bullet velocity. It gives more than vertical recoil. I don't know if this is a bug. It might be but 50% of the gun kick, 86% of the horizontal recoil control, and 100% of the vertical recoil control, meaning you have zero at all. And in fact, in a lot of cases, it's negative. You have negative recoil control on this thing because like I said, you're pulling down on the stick even just a little bit, you end up going down towards their ankles. It's actually kind of hard to hit headshots with this dang thing. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a fan of the iron sights. It's just too blocky for me. It blocks too much of my vision, so it is a preference. You guys can run whatever you want. I am using the jack glasses optic here though. For the ammunition type, I'm going with the high grain rounds. That's gonna give you bullet velocity along with damage range. It's gonna sacrifice recoil control, but there's virtually none there whatsoever, so I didn't notice anything. It's gonna give you 15% there, increasing your damage range to 32.1 meters, along with 703.8 meters per second to your bullet velocity. For our under barrel, I am using the DR6 hand stop. It's gonna increase the mobility, giving you aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. The other movements are nice, but I'm primarily using this to increase the ADS at 7% and 8% there to the sprint to fire speed. And for the final attachment, I'm using the Scratch 20L suppressor to increase your fire aiming stability ability which is going to limit the shake on the weapon along with that it keeps you off of the mini map it is going to sacrifice a one percent there to the ads but let's be honest one percent is virtually nothing whatsoever something i kind of forgot to mention is i'm using the cast off 762 with this so it just kind of felt better the fire is a little slower but the damage range ends up being better so that's kind of why I chose this one you can also use it with the cast off 545 though if you guys wanted to do that it's gonna come down to preference. You guys can try both them out. All of the attachments are there for both. So you can put these attachments onto the 545 or the 762 and give it a try. You guys will see there are some small differences, but it's gonna come down to preference. Here's all of your attachments on the screen if you guys needed to copy this one down. I highly recommend you do. You guys are gonna see me go absolutely ballistic in this gameplay and you're gonna see how easy it is to freaking use. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen. I'm not sure what my barrel's doing, but it's glitching through that gun case there. It looks a little goofy. Maybe they need to fix that or make it smaller or something because only thing I did was add a suppressor. I didn't change anything else. Oh, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I've been playing around with this AK-12 and as weird as this sounds, I am actually having trouble where the recoil is too controlled. If that makes any freaking sense, the recoil. I, I'm so used to pulling down on the stick that in certain circumstances, I find myself pulling away from like their head and upper body. Like, like I was saying, it's it's odd, but it makes sense. If you've been controlling recoil, like COD weapons have had recoil. I mean, for as long as I can remember. So when you ultimately get rid of that recoil, you're just instinctually going to keep trying to control it. <laughs> There's even certain circumstances where like, I'm aiming at their toes, you know what I mean? Like there's some easy fights that I'm fumbling. That I probably shouldn't fumble. I will say, one of the easiest weapons I've ever used, straight up. From a lot of perspectives. Now, that doesn't mean it doesn't have its downfalls. It definitely does. I would say one of the big ones 
is the slow fire rate. Whether you use the cast of 545 or 762, it does have a rather slow fire rate. So getting into close range engagements can be problematic. But long range fights like that, shoot, super easy. Yeah, I don't like that. I can't see. Thank you, teammate. I almost choked. I think they're still spawning there. No. Uh, maybe. They might be spawning on those forklifts. I gotta be super close to this DNA bomb. There it is. I was gonna say, I gotta be so close. That never gets old. No grenade. Christ! Oh my goodness! How many of them just pushed me? I don't think the swarm did a damn thing, by the way. Nope, they're now dead. I don't think I've ever jumped more through my seat than I just did. That was wild. No grenade again. I was going to need that. Leave it to the swarm. I, I got to remember to take this dang streak off, dude. Gets me so many kills, but it's almost not worth it. Because I'm not getting any gun kills at the same time. Let's go with like UAV, maybe VTOL, an advanced UAV. I don't even know when this video is going out, so you guys might not even know like what I'm talking about here. I just, it's probably my first ever bouncing Betty kill. I'm at 82, and this game's going quick, quick. They're going to come this way. Ninety. 
I don't even know if I can lock in 100. Team's been all over the hill all game. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. They ain't having it. Sure. Sure. I'll take another DNA bomb. Seven minutes and 47 seconds on my recording as of right now. And I'm at 108 kills. That was like a seven and a half, like from start to finish. If you ignore the parts that I cut out at the beginning and the slow parts in the middle, it was like a seven minute recording. I got 108.